the, do you know, there's a lot. I, it, it's a remark. When, when you let's start again. Couldn't get me words out then. guys and welcome back to the channel today we're doing a madonna stream and we're going through the ages from the earliest to the latest we're not doing every single song just what discard members have picked out for me this what this track is from 1989 and it's madonna like a prayer now i am familiar with this song i have heard it before there's two different versions there's a radio version and there was one that was released on the album with more instruments in it etc um, I have never seen the video, but I do know with this one, the video did cause controversy over some burning crosses. And I've seen the clip of a dancing in front of him, but I've never watched this video from start to finish. So, this will be sort of a new thing for me to see the video. Um, never sat there and took in the lyrics, but I will do that now. But before we do, if you do actually like the videos, then please consider to like and subscribe. And the link to this video will be down in the description for anyone who wants to check it out by themselves. So without further ado, let's get into Madonna. Like a prayer. Let's get it. Do you know what? I thought I was listening to a different song there. I thought, have I got this wrong? Like the get dun, 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 dun. At the beginning I was like, what the freaking hell was that? Hang on, let's start that again. I, I was dead confused for a second. That's the controversy of the burning cross, isn't it? I know him, he's an actor. He's an actor. He's been in something before. And I can't think what it is. It feels like home. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Did Madonna cause controversy for the simple fact that this looks like she's flipping the script? And when you see Jesus on the cross uh, or whatever, it's a white guy, isn't it, with the with the thorns on his head, and the the beard, and etc. In this one, it seems to be a portrayal of a black Jesus. Now, did that cause controversy at the time as well as the burning crosses and stuff? I don't know because I don't know what the controversy was. I will check out the meaning of this song at the end of it because I want to know what the controversy is. But I feel like it's littered with it where people get maybe get start getting offended over maybe a different raced Jesus. Maybe, you know what I mean? Or the, well, the burning, I know the burning crosses was something because that was shown on the news, but I was too young to really take in what was happening. Freak of that, it's like a waxwork. Chris T. S. just said on the stream, it was also a black saint, which in itself caused offence. Also, consider the black angel that caught her. Yeah, well, yeah, saying that obviously, um, you always see like God or angels as like white people, don't they, um, as a stereotype. So I understand why 
maybe back in the day it caused controversy. Maybe with the is it did it cause controversy with people of the church? Um or something. I'm not I I need to look up the meaning of this song. <laughs> Okay. Well, one, how did the knife cutter like that? <laughs> two little holes. Should be two slices. Uh, that's that's clearly the portrayal of nails in your hands for the cross. I don't know why, um, but, I mean, this song, lyrically, it sounds like it's someone who's, who's just found God, and that, that's what they're talking about, finding God. Um, I don't think there's anything, anything sinister in that way. It's someone who's who's talking to above, finding God. There's no end. There's no beginning, etc. It's just we are what we are. Life is life. Find God and then follow that path if you like. Okay, all right. I want to see where the rest of the controversy goes. I'm look. Maybe I'm looking too far into it as well, controversy wise. <laughs> Okay, I see what's going on there now. At first, they're portraying the the black guys as the choir, the godly people, etc. Um, the white people as pieces of shit who's just stabbed that girl, etc. And then the black guy's gone to help her. Now the police have turned up. This is going to be about white police onto black people. Is this the start of that sort of thing? Is this the start of that um, them accusations and stuff? Where they're going to misunderstand this guy for helping her and just just see the stereotype of another black guy who stabbed a woman? Is that what they're gonna say? A, a white woman? Is that, is that what the controversy is? Let me know in the comments. Hour, it's wrong. That's the clip of South the news. Do you know, there's a lot. I, it's a remark. When you let's start again. I couldn't get my words out then. When I seen the the black guy getting framed for stabbing that woman, and the police just automatically assuming that that guy has done that. This this is a 1989. You're talking just pre the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Now you watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air as a kid, and you think it's a funny show. You watch that back as an adult, and then you see that there is a lot of racial. Um, points that are being pointed out within that series like uh, when will and carlton are driving the car and they get pulled over by the police and he's saying no this wouldn't happen if we were white folks he's going to tell us to get out of the car you watch too much tv will 
Get out of the car. <laughs> Officer, honestly, I don't see the need to... Hey, get out of the car now. And stuff like that and there's a lot of that in the fresh prince of bel-air and i think madonna is doing is something similar to that where she's pointing out that not every black guy is bad do you know what i mean i think that's what she's trying to portray in this video maybe it caused controversy because people didn't agree i don't know i don't know what was happening at the time in 1989 like i say i was still a kid so i don't know but i feel like there's something something to do with that uh that sort of the stereotypes i think she's pointing out the stereotypes that are always wrong if you know what I mean. People are people, not a, not a skin colour, if you know what I mean. And it was all a play. It was all a play, um, a production. And obviously she's gone to the police station at the end in the portrayal of the, the, the play or the production and gone and told the police exactly what happened. So they were going to go and free the black guy from the prison because he didn't kill the woman because he knew it was them pieces of shit white people. <laughs> But yeah, I need to. I'm gonna want. I want to know what the controversy was all about with this song uh, exactly, and I want to know why people were offended so much. I know I've got. A, I can hazard a guess, and I, th I can. I think I've got 90% of what's happening here. But I mean, I want to know exactly what people thought of it back then. Uh, just there's quite a lot on this um, on this thing. I'm trying to find what people said. Right. After, it, this it was this song was used in a Pepsi commercial at some point. I don't know. Um, but then it says the song was released the very next day and instantly added to the radio playlist around the world. It was also added on MTV, but instead of creating a video that was an extension of the commercial, Madonna actually hijacked it herself. And instead of it being an eight-year-old girl at a birthday party like in the Pepsi commercial, which I had not seen, um, it, we see Madonna witness a brutal crime and takes refuge in a church. She shares an in, interracial kiss, gets stigmata on her hands. That's obviously the cuts on her hands. Um, I'm going to have lost where I was talking. I just looked at the camera, I've lost where I'm up to. Stick my on her hands and dances in front of a burning cross. Predictably, religious groups were then outraged with the American Family Association and the Vatican condemning it. Pepsi facing a boycott and they dropped Madonna and never again aired the commercial. But Madonna and MTV were the big winners here because those who thought she came off as a recal recalcitrant, I don't know what that means, um, Pris tended to be older conservative folks who were far outside her target audience and then and then the kind of authority figures her fan base the same ones pepsi was going after did de deprised in defying her corporate suit and madonna so, uh, showed her art was more important but their mon than their money pepsi got a song for a day but mtv got the rest and the run and the ben and benefited benefited from the controversy as viewers tuned in to see what all the fuss was about so it was the church who was outraged from the interracial kiss the stigmata on the hands the fact they were using black people in the video um uh, portraying like whatever and it was like you know it, it, it's a portrayal but madonna i feel was pointing out some very valid points in this that you people shouldn't be racist and i think that's that's what that was the aim of the video if you like and uh, and then the framing of the black guy of in the in the aftermath of that woman getting stabbed by the white people is a real problem that goes on because instantly just say yeah he's guilty put him in jail and then that's and that's that's been um 
that's been a thing for a lot a lot of problems in in all countries and all walks of life you know people some people do get judged on the skin color it's wrong absolutely wrong we're all people we're all humans we're all equal anyway if you like my videos then please hit like and subscribe and we shall see you on the next one <laughs>